What is going on guys? My name is Jesse EB. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'll be releasing weekly content in regards to e-commerce, Shopify dropshipping, and everything online entrepreneurship. If you haven't started a Shopify store yet, be sure to check the link in the description. I have a free trial that you can use there, and I'm offering free audits for anybody that signs up and uses that link and purchases a plan. There's a small commission that's earned that I invest back into the channel to continue bringing you guys more powerful content, free giveaways, and stuff like that. Today, we're gonna have kind of a face-off POD versus drop shipping. If you don't know what POD is, it's kind of like drop shipping, but with like clothing and jewelry and you know, customized stuff like that. So we're gonna have a little bit of a contest of drop shipping versus print on demand. And I don't know what the results are gonna be. So let's go ahead and jump into the powerful content and see who the winner is, all right? Let's go. <laughs> Let us dance. Round one, fight. All right guys, drop shipping versus print on demand. I'm gonna go over some pros and cons of each one. Whoever wins each topic will get a point. And then at the end, we'll see which one has more points, drop shipping or print on demand. All right, so pros versus cons when we're talking about products coming from the supplier themselves. You're gonna come across a lot more problems when you're drop shipping from AliExpress in terms of issues at the warehouse. When you're drop shipping from AliExpress, it's coming from a Chinese supplier and a lot of times there's flaws and a lot of times there's communication errors. So when you're marketing for print on demand, the biggest issue you're really gonna have here is going to be issues with your designing and marketing. Where drop shipping, there's a bunch of potential problems that are out of your control when you're drop shipping from a random warehouse in China. So for drop shipping versus AliExpress, in terms of which supplier could potentially have the most problems. I think AliExpress is gonna have the most problems. So print on demand gets a point for that one. And you guys, I'm just talking to a camera here. Let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree. All right, next one, you guys, when we're talking about freedom to kind of build your brand, how much freedom do you have when you're drop shipping to customize your products versus print on demand when you're customizing your products? You should keep in mind that it is possible to go ahead and have a supplier from China customize your products. In some situations, they might be able to customize for you for drop shipping purposes if you're doing large volume and sales. But in most cases, if you wanna have really customized physical items from China, you're gonna have to buy bulk from Alibaba. That's not the case with print on demand. Pretty much every case with print on demand is gonna be customized to the point where you could get all these items with your brand on it. And it's just gonna be a lot more difficult doing that when you're drop shipping from AliExpress. So I think for that one, print on demand gets another point. And that kind of leads me up to the next point. When you're drop shipping from AliExpress, you're gonna be getting your packages and they're gonna be covered in Chinese lettering a lot of times. But when you're doing print on demand, you can even have, not only is it shipped from the United States or the UK, depending on where you're targeting, but the package themselves, you can actually have your logo put on it and you can have package inserts and everything like that. So in terms of long-term branding, I think print on demand gets another point for that. Now, it is important to keep in mind, you can do long-term branding with drop shipping physical products. When you find winners, you could go ahead and buy bulk from Alibaba. And in some cases, if you have a strong relationship with your AliExpress supplier, they could put in some package inserts for you and maybe slap on custom logos, but it's really situational, but it's worth negotiating and contacting the supplier to discuss it with them. I wanna talk about profit margins. Which one, drop shipping from AliExpress versus print on demand is more profitable? Because at the end of the day, that's the main goal that we have is to be making money and ha having financial freedom. A lot of times when you're drop shipping from AliExpress, the profit margins are gonna be a lot higher than print on demand. That's just how it is when you're having items manufactured in China. Print on demand is coming from a US warehouse or developed country, whatever you're targeting. So when you're drop shipping from AliExpress, I think that's gonna get a point for having better profit margins. So when we're talking about profit margins, what can we do in terms of negotiating with the suppliers so that we could get better profit margins? Well, print on demand, Printful for example, has on their website, and I'll put a screenshot right here, they have on their website set pricing depending on your monthly volume. So regardless of any failed negotiations or anything like that, certain print on demand companies are gonna give you a discount if you're doing over X amount of volume. I think they give something like 5% if you're doing $5,000 in sales per month. That's the situation with print on demand. Now with drop shipping, you might be able to negotiate with the supplier, there's nothing set in stone, they don't have any policies, but if you're doing large amounts of volume, you might be able to talk to the supplier and get some kind of discount. The other option, if you wanna get products from China and you want discounts, it would be buying bulk after you find some winners from Alibaba. 
and carrying the product locally or putting your product in a warehouse in the United States or whatever developed country you're marketing to and having them fulfill the orders and send it out for you. But since print on demand oftentimes has a set standard for the discount that they will give you on volume, I'm gonna give them the point for that one. But one thing to keep in mind that, that is beneficial about both of these options, neither of them are required to actually hold physical inventory unless you buy bulk and then you're fulfilling the orders yourself. They're also both low startup cost businesses, low risk businesses. Worst, worst case scenario, if you fail, you're not really losing that much money. So since they're both equal on that, I'm gonna give them points for both. So how about this? We're talking about marketing when we have a product that we really enjoy that we found to be a winner. With AliExpress, you have to find the product first that's a winner and then find your audience. With print on demand, you could find your audience and then create a product for them, which is huge. You literally just gotta put the item that somebody loves right in front of them so they could buy it. So in terms of being able to find an audience and ease, I'm gonna give print on demand the point for that one. So how about we talk about you know the amount of products that are available for us to go ahead and sell. With print on demand, there's actually a bunch of resources and a lot of surprising things that you could actually do print on demand. There's even uh, companies that allow you to do print on demand jewelry and stuff like that. I can leave some resources in the description. But when it comes to just the vast amount of availability on items, AliExpress crushes print on demand. AliExpress has so many more items available than print on demand has. So I'm gonna give the point to AliExpress and drop so how about order fulfillment? We start having a bunch of orders, you know, which one has the easiest method for order fulfillment? Print on demand is actually mostly fully automated, where AliExpress is actually semi-automated. There is the Oberlo app that makes it a lot easier to fulfill orders than without it, but you will most likely, once you start having some volume, hire a VA to go ahead and fulfill orders for you, which isn't that big a deal. But we're gonna give AliExpress a half point, and print on demand a full point for the ease of order fulfillment. And to go back about profit margins a little bit, the profit margins are lower on print on demand, but you actually have the ability to build a stronger brand earlier on so that then you could justify charging a little bit more for your products. So that's just something to keep in mind as well. Let's talk about issues with payment providers. When you're drop shipping from AliExpress, Payment providers do not like that business model because of how common chargebacks are. It costs them, the banks, money. So when you're drop shipping from AliExpress, they can actually freeze a quarter of your revenue for what's called a reserve. So they hold on to that 25% of your money to ensure that you're not getting a bunch of chargebacks and then they release it to you after a long time. Which isn't a big deal if you have money anyway, them holding on to that 25% as long as they give it back. But for somebody that's starting out, that could create a big problem and it's something to keep in mind when you're first starting out. So since the likelihood of money being frozen for a reserve is less on print on demand, I'm gonna give a point to print on demand for that one. And the quality of products are better in print on demand, which brings me to one of my next points. The profit margins are better on AliExpress when it comes to clothing, but if you're gonna be selling clothing, I'd highly suggest doing it print on demand. Because AliExpress does have some stuff that looks like cool clothing, but when you receive it, the quality is pretty garbage most of the time. And there's been a lot of reports of the clothing from AliExpress having a weird smell to it. So since the clothing coming from print on demand is better quality, I'm gonna give them a point for that. So let's talk about shipping time. And if you wanna learn how to avoid the long shipping time coming from China, take a look at my last video, the video that was right before this one, and I'll put up a thumbnail there. But when we're talking about shipping time from AliExpress or China, we're looking at 14 to 21 days if we use ePacket. When we're talking about shipping for print on demand, we're looking at around more like a week for shipping time. And if you're shipping abroad using print on demand, you're looking at more like two weeks. So two weeks for international shipping and actually some print on demand companies are in multiple countries. So depending on where you are targeting, it'd be fast shipping in certain other countries as well. But since we're looking at domestic shipping time of about a week and international shipping time of about two weeks for print on demand, I'm gonna give print on demand the point for faster shipping time. But do check my last video if you haven't seen it so you can learn how to bypass the long shipping times coming from AliExpress in China. So let's talk about our competitors or just people in general that are trying to do what we're doing, whether it's Shopify drop shipping or starting a print on demand company. If somebody comes in and your store's doing well, so you're running a lot of ads for it and it's getting a lot of exposure, 
and somebody wants to model it or sometimes just straight copy it, it's gonna be difficult for them to copy your exact print-on-demand store. What they would have to do is they would have to model your design. They can't just copy it directly without risking being shut down. They would model your design and then they have to go out and find a designer and then they'd have to pay them and then go through all that process to eventually you know copy or model your store so that's going to be a, a little bit of a hindrance for the really lazy people that don't want to go do that but when it comes to drop shipping from aliexpress it's not that difficult to go ahead and find the product that they want to copy and then import it via oberlo into their own store and then start running ads to it now them doing that is it going to destroy your aliexpress drop shipping store no there's going to be a bunch of stuff that don't meet the eye that you're putting in that is resulting in your overall success with your store. But since it's a little more difficult to directly copy a print on demand store compared to AliExpress store, I'm going to give the point to print on demand. And just something in general to keep in mind, you guys, there is some Chinese holidays that go on throughout the year where Chinese companies will be shut down for, you know, an extended period of time, whether it's Chinese New Year or, you know, Spring Festival or stuff like that. So you need to pay attention to that so you're not blindsided and you're not going to have that so much with print on demand companies that are in countries that don't take extended breaks like that. So you might find that your print on demand supplier is a little bit more reliable for long term. So it looks like a grand total of the points is four and a half points for AliExpress drop shipping versus print on demand for 12 points. Now, does that mean I think everybody should quit drop shipping from AliExpress and you know, go do print on demand? Not necessarily. AliExpress drop shipping is great for beginners because there's a little bit less of a learning curve. But do I think people should eventually work in and kind of build their brand and then work their way into print on demand for long-term sustainability? That I do think. Or if you're not gonna do print on demand, I would consider finding winning products and buy those in bulk and white labeling them from Alibaba. So I think the winner of kind of the pros and cons of drop shipping versus print on demand is print on demand. It doesn't mean you can't make a good living drop shipping from AliExpress, but it's just important to keep in mind the pros and cons of these two options and long term looking forward you make decisions that are going to be best for your long term sustainability and success so what do you guys think do you disagree with any of the points that i gave i didn't plan this ahead of time i just wrote down some pros and cons and then um, came up here and wrote the points what do you guys think did i miss anything is there any pros to drop shipping compared to print on demand that i didn't mention let me know in the comments below I'm curious what you guys think as well. All right, anyway, guys, hope that was helpful. Check the description for any resources, and I'll catch you guys on the next one, all right? Peace out.